welcome at this presentation about intellectual property. During this presentation, I will touch upon the valorization process. Why is intellectual property important? The intellectual property itself, what is included in intellectual property and the patenting process. What are patents and how does the process go? The valorization process. Why is it important? Well, government and society are giving us funding towards the university for education, research and care at the university medical centers. Out of all these activities, we get new knowledge. This new knowledge will become new processes for society to do things differently, to change our way of living, and also to get new products. This is valorization. Valorization transforms all our knowledge and ideas into new products and processes in society. It generates impact in society and often also value. All these ideas and knowledge will also get us intellectual property rights. And for some uh, processes and products, it's important that these property rights are protected. An example is the company Lumix. Lumix was uh, founded in 2014. However, before it was founded, an invention was made by Professor Gijs Buiten and Erwin Petterman. They invented a way how to look very in a close way into the cell and how do all the molecules interact with each other. Can we make that visual? Can we visualize this? And they could. They made a machine to do so. And this was patented in 2013, a first patent after a nature, pe uh, before the nature publication, very important, before. And uh, it was based on ERC proof of concept money. So the ERC, the European Union, gave uh, Professor Wuyte and Peter Mann money to validate their ideas, which then was a patent and was a nature publication. At this moment in 2020, already 100 people are working at Lumix. And Lumix is all over the world. They have offices in China, next to Europe, and they are also working very closely in America. How does that work? How do I get to this company? How do I get to new products? And how long does it take? Well, if you have a discovery or a new idea, for one, come to ICSA. ICSA is viewing together with you what is your idea, and we put this in an IDF, an invention disclosure form. Based on this information, we can have a look which intellectual property rights are uh, connected to your idea, and do we need a patent to get, in the end, to the market. Some researchers think, oh no, I won't go to ICSA because it takes too much time before I can publish. Actually, that's not true. It'll take about four to six weeks, if we have your manuscript, which you want to publish, to get a patent written and have the patent application done, after which you can have your publication presented. So it doesn't need to take uh, to extend your publication time. What types of uh, intellectual property rights are there? We have a summary here, which is just uh, a, a few of them. One is uh, the patent itself, which I will discuss a little later in this presentation. You have a trade secret, then the information is not made publicly available. It's within the company and it's not something we use at the universities because we want to publish and we want to bring our information out in the open. A trademark or a registered design, um, like the trademark uh, of a certain uh, logo and a registered design is, is how, does it, how does it look? How do, for instance, the name Google, the letters they use and the colors they use. You also have a copyright, which I'll touch upon a little later, and a database right. A database right exists automatically and stays for 15 years. 
What is copyright? If you write something, then you create copyright already. And that's also true for computer programs. They are also protected with copyright. It exists automatically and um, it lasts for 70 years after the death of the, uh, the author. What types of IP can you find on an iPhone? On an iPhone, you have the copyrights of the software behind it. You have the design, how the iPhone itself looks. You have the trademarks, the logos. You have the patents also for certain uh, algorithms which are connected with the chips, for instance, and their trade secrets. Not everything what is found, how the iPhone is built and what is found on the iPhone is publicly available. Another example is uh, a, a portal which is used at the Amsterdam Medical Centers and it's called Click. Click here you can see it's a logo, it's a name, um, it's the colors and it's a portal where you have patient reported outcome measures all assembled together. So that's all together um, with the patient reported outcome measures you will get information from the patients assembled in this portal and this is also a database. So Click has software, it has the logo, the trade, uh, this, uh, trademark and the design and the database, right? A patent. This is a, a view of a patent. Patents were already created in the Middle Ages. However, the patents as we know them now created more in the industrial revolution of during the period of the windmills. This is an example of one of an extraordinary uh, way of, of a windmill, as you can see here. And this was one of the patents, early patents of windmills. Before a patent can be, uh, before you can do a patent application, there are three things which are important. One is novel, the other is inventive, and the third one is industrial applicable. For novel, it is very important that you, um, that it's completely new. No, it's not published anywhere or presented anywhere else. As you can see here, once somebody wanted to apply for a patent of a vessel to rescue a vessel from the bottom of the sea. You can see it on the figure one. They put balls with air via a tube into the vessel, which makes the vessel float up. However, in 1949, Donald Duck already thought of this and it was presented in this um, animation which you can see on the right. So the patent a uh, office said it's not novel what you uh, want to do, so the patent is not valid and uh, the patent will not be granted. It needs to be inventive. So it's not that something everybody can think of this idea. Uh, it needs to have a creative step and it needs to be inventive. Um, if you have, for instance, two different kinds of soaps and you put them together and you say, it works, it does also clean my clothes, then that doesn't work either because it's not inventive. And it needs to be industrially applicable. It's not only the ID, it needs to work. And you cannot patent um, um, business ideas, processes, um, but you can patent like um, um, a machine or you can patent um, a, a new drug or you can patent software in connection with a device. When is something novel? I want to take a little bit more time to inform you about this because if you give a presentation for your scientific public during a, a meeting, then you can, and you haven't had, uh, that you didn't do a patent application before, then you can destroy your novelty. So it's not possible anymore to do a patent application. It's very important not to bring your idea out in the open before you have your patent applied into the patent office. 
it's during a presentation, but it's of course also a publication or uh, putting it on, an, uh, on your internet website. Non-public disclosures, it's not a public disclosure when you discuss it together with your colleagues. Uh, you, it's okay to uh, discuss it with your colleagues if you work at the Amsterdam Medical Center in one side and you want to discuss it with colleagues on the other side and they um, are, know that it's confidential information, that's okay. If you speak with companies, please take care to sign a, a confidentiality agreement or a non a disclosure agreement, NDA, before you speak to, to the company. Come to ICSA, we can help you with that. In summary, please patent before you publish. How long does it take so to, before your patent is granted? A first patent application, which is called a priority application, We'll give you a search report six months after that. So after six months, the patent office has reviewed your patent application and has looked at the three items of novelty, inventiveness and industrial applicable. Based on this search report, they will give you some uh, uh, hints already about whether you have a possibility to have a patent granted. After one year, you have your PCT application, which means that you have the possibility to uh, have your patent um, granted in 144 countries. So you first file your patent in, for instance, Europe, or in the Netherlands, or in Britain, or in the US. And then after one year, you file it at the PCT office, which then gives you the option, the, the possibility to go through the whole world. After 18 months after your uh, patent application, your, your patent will be publicly available. Everybody can read your patent. And after 30 months, your patent goes into the national phase, which means that you have to choose, do I want to stay in Europe? Do I want to have an application in China, in Brazil, in Ukraine, or uh, any other country who is connected to the PCT? This is the, pe the period where uh, uh, the money uh, increases. The first patent application is about 10,000 euros and the PCT application about 5,000 euros, uh, but in the national phase, it can go up to 30,000 euros. Your patent can be granted after three to five years, and the patent expires after 20 years. The cost for the patent application is paid by the university, as the uh, university also owns the patent, which I'll come back to in a little while. Because in the regulations of the university, it states that all um, the inventions belong to the university. Though in the research code is also stating that um, if you are an inventor, you will have a reward for your invention. One third of the income which the university gets goes to the university. One third of the income comes, goes to the inventors one-third goes to the group of the inventors. And la at last, another example of a patenting and a company is Maurice Alders. Maurice Alders had an invention of a, a new uh, camera which is used at a crime scene. With this camera, with spectrophotometry and uh, algorithms, he can have a look in the uh, environment and he can see where in the room bloodstains are uh, to be found, where the police can swap. He made a company out of it called FTS. Thank you for watching this uh, presentation about intellectual property. If you have questions, do contact ICSA. Thank you.